For 70-year-old Charlie Peters, driving a mule-drawn wagon at a speed of about three miles per hour is the best way to travel. The Vietnam veteran, who hails from Owasso, Michigan, is going back home, the second leg in a cross-country journey with a purpose. I'm going to get me a team of mules, which I'd never owned a mule or horse in my life. Build me a wagon, I'm going to take off, and I'm going to thank every veteran I can find. I'm going to shake his hand and tell him, thank you for your service. Charlie, who served in the Navy in the late 1960s, was inspired for the trip a few years ago. Someone shook his hand, looked him in the eye, and thanked him for his service. A small but unforgettable gesture. I said, you're the first person in 45 years to say that to me. And I never thought it would affect me, but it deeply affected me. Now, he's returning the favor. He left Owasso in late May and turned back around at New Holland, Pennsylvania. He says he's talked to at least 200 veterans so far and is having the time of his life. I got my first haircut today since I left home. Charlie and his two mules, Tom and Jerry, still have a long way to go. There's over 500 miles between Chambersburg and Owasso. But for Charlie, it's all worth it. Now, I've had him just break down and cry. And I just give him a hug and say, hey, we'll get through this. It's fine. You know, it just takes a while. A lot of kids grew up without fathers because of that. And I see something like this. It's just, it's moving to see that, you know, people haven't forgotten. Charlie's wife gave him a deadline of four months, so he hopes to make it home in September.